Would you injure yourself to get disability checks? Don't answer that. Somebody said, why is that poll 50-50? Why are you guys answering that? He fell in love with Angel. Jet was just a kid when he contracted an infection. It affected my growth plate to my hip and my knee drop here. My legs just never grew. Though his disability didn't stop him from finding love, others are often cruel to the couple about their height difference. She's 1000% cheating on you. People would like to say she's just using me for my money or- See chat, listen, this is love right here, guys. Okay, everybody take a look at this. Everybody, all the boys in the chat. All my small, short kings out there in my stream. Don't worry guys, chin up, right? Chin up, knee up, you know, even tippy toe up. Okay, um, listen, I can't speak for you guys' struggles because I'm obviously tall, but you know, good luck out there, guys. There's, there's love out there. There's love out there for all of you. Go diggers. He used to read the comments all the time and get upset. They say a lot of hurtful stuff. My name is Jet. I'm Angel. And people judge us because of our height difference. So we met on social media. He asked me for my phone number. We exchanged phone numbers. And he was like, you know, we should meet up for my birthday. And I was like, when's your birthday? He was like, November 1st. And I was like, that's my birthday. So we decided to meet a little early. We spent about three days together. And after that, we just hit it off. It was like my soulmate. Initially, when I uh, first spoke to I don't know why they just came in my mind, but I feel like I always tell you guys everything and I'm transparent. This guy reminds me of like a jester in the 1980s, like in the 1800s, like in the medieval times. Is that 1800s? Yeah, I don't know. I feel some jesterness in him, like he's a clown or something. Angel on social media. I was like, uh, I have a little leg. Yo, God, they give me the summer. She was like, okay, cool. And then we just kept conversating, you know? So it was, it was like, she didn't really care. My man's jet is a short king. I wasn't born like this. I actually caught staph infection in the hospital. It affected the growth plates in my hip and my knees. And it also left me completely deaf in my left ear. I remember all the way up to two, three, maybe four, my legs were the same height, but because of that staph infection, it's done at the growth of my growth plate. So my legs just never grew. When we started talking to each other, we was already at that vibe. So we like just clicked. So when he told me, I was like, okay, whatever, I don't, I don't care. I didn't really judge him. It was like a special thing. We had the same birthday, so I looked past- Why did somebody make a poll? How tall is old? Nobody answer that. If you answer that, you're a fake viewer. Don't worry, I'm gonna try to close it immediately. Don't worry, guys. I, I wouldn't want you guys- Yeah, I got you. Everybody's just gonna say that I'm short, unfortunately. What happened to her pants? Somebody did it or something. That's his flaw. I was like, that's something special. Oh. You know, your hands are way too cold for that. No, oh, look, they no, warm. No, your hands are Let cold. me try. That's cold. That's cold. Take it. It's love. Most of the judgment we get is really on social media. They say I'm a gold digger. <laughs> they say I'm using him for his money. He get disability checks. His girl is giving off a lot of man vibes. Glad I'm... Wait, Jack, how much is a disability check? How much do you get for that? Some of you guys definitely know because some of the shit I see on the stream is definitely not right. So talk to me for the people that be typing very weird shit. Fuck you, go. Hey, Griff, I did not say your name, okay? I was talking more to like uh, Joelski or uh, Bill Fisher or even Brodor. I'm not the only one thinking his girl is actually his guy. My like, God, they say a lot of hurtful stuff. She's 1,000% cheating on you. Your rap name should be Leggy Smalls. <laughs> <laughs> That's clever, I give you that. You better stop throwing around that medical money. She's there for that check. Get your leg chopped off and get a fake leg. Amputate your little foot and get a fake one. Go to the body part section at Walmart. Joke's on you, cause I, I bought a <laughs> fake leg on Amazon. They also say that I don't look happy when I be with him. Oh, she looks miserable. Oh, she's definitely using him. She don't even look happy. It's like, how can you tell just from looking at my face? Like, yeah. okay, all right. Yeah, it's, it's crazy. It gets to me, it doesn't get to him. He thinks it's funny, but to me, I guess, cause we're different, it, like, it actually bothers me. Cause I'm like, I'm not a guy. We've been together for 10 years. How am I using you? Or how am I a gold digger? But I understand because they don't know from the outside looking in. He used to read the comments all the time and get upset. And I used to be like, stop reading the comments. The only thing I, I could say that really bothered me about it is um, people feel like 
on social media, people with disabilities can't have a good career, they can't have a good wife, they can't have kids, they can't have money, they can't work for themselves. We're numb to it now. Like you can say anything, it doesn't hurt, but that's not cool. Nobody, no human should be numb enough to Okay, I'm not gonna lie, disability check is kinda like that's kinda crazy to think about. Like give us some thought real quick. I just thought about it this whole time. Bro gets paid by the government and he's like flexing a bunch of hundreds and shit. Like a couple of grand a month because one leg is shorter than the other. Like he doesn't even have to work. Like he just knows money is coming every month. Like he's chilling. Oh my God. Like he's chilling. Like he's just sitting home buying. The... Like you saw his shoes. He has like Jordans on. He has like a different Jordans on every day. Oh, he can't work. He can't walk. I'm not gonna lie, Logan, L take. I'm gonna be honest. Like, I know it's like one leg is shorter than the other, but there's definitely jobs that he could definitely do. I'm gonna be honest. L take, L take, L take for you. Like that, like he, there's definitely jobs. Like he could, he could, bro, you're acting like he's disabled or something. Like, what he is disabled. Yeah, I mean, that's why it's called disability check, but I mean disabled in a way where like he can't function. Like he has to rely on somebody. He can't function by himself. Like, bro, he could, he could function by himself. He could waddle his way to the kitchen. You know? Damn, that's kind of crazy, though. Like, he'd be walking everywhere. You could tell. He'd be walking. Would you injure yourself to get disability? Don't answer that. Somebody said, why is that poll 50-50? Why are you guys answering that? Nothing affects us emotionally. This is the jet cave where all the magic happens. Where you see the, the cool shoes with the lifts on it. The way this all... Oh, the Aiden Ross just donated $20 to a Palestinian donation box. And his chat went off on him. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. The, the sisters on the other side need some new carpet. You know what I'm saying, Elder? Twenty buck is twenty buck. We take those. I started with uh, me standing like this. I stand like this naturally, and then one day I, I looked at a picture of myself and I said, "Wouldn't it be cool if I tilt myself and made it look like I'm flying?" And this is what we come. Oh my God! Look at his shoe collection. Two. Right here, the jet pack, the infamous jetpack boot. In 2018, I actually dropped an album called The Jetpack Kid. So it all started really from the music. The music is what turned. Wait, he has he has a hundred K YouTube subscribers. Maybe they're gonna talk about it. I won't search it up yet. Turned the jetpack into this into a video. I was about three or four years old. We walked into a a, a doctor office and they gave me a boot on my suit, an orthopedic lift. Ever since then, I've just been wearing a lift on my shoes. When I was younger, I didn't care about having a, a you know a little leg and a boot on my shoes, but when I got into about high school, that's when you start becoming more self-conscious. And that's when I kind of started worrying more about the shoes I have on. So the best thing was to get the coolest sneakers. Wait, what did he say? About the shoes I have on. So the best thing was to get the coolest sneakers. So he'd be buying shoes because he's insecure. Yeah, I don't know about that one. He has to get he, he has to turn he has to turn away from that light. You don't need anybody's validation, right? No matter if you got a little eye, little boot, little leg, right? Man, you 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 got You got to put people in check, not give a anybody thinks. Look at me, I got a failed hair transplant. I still look at the camera and smile. You know, like <laughs> like damn, like I don't even have hair after getting a hair transplant. That's crazy. Like, give it some thought. I don't have hair after getting a hair transplant after balding the first time. That's crazy. Like, really, that's crazy. Like, I... Wow, it's laughable. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of times, the orthopedics, I would bring shoes that have, like, bubbles in the soles, and they would tell me they couldn't cut them, but I would force them to cut it. God, behold, they were able to put these orthopedics on these... What did this guy say? Let me read it. Bro, all the, all, the, all you literally have... Oda, you literally have the same job. You get money for doing. F Not true. Not true at all. If 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 you wanted to become a streamer right now and tried to stream, you would fail. Do you know why? Because you're not entertaining. You have no passion. You wouldn't be able to do it. Um. I would say uh, uh, streaming is mentally draining as well, right? And you have to. You just you can't be a sloth, right? Some days you just wanna you know. Change a tire. Bro, I, I worked jobs. I worked at U-Haul. I worked at a tire shop. I know how to change tiles, oil changes, brakes and rotors. I know how to do all those stuff. Yes, that is a more tedious job for sure, but I would say streaming is a job. If it wasn't a job, that means everybody would do it if it was easy.
right? If it was easy, everybody would do it. But then, you know, you can't nice. do it. You can't. You can't do it. Designer shoes. That's what initially started me. You know, wearing these designer and brand names to the orthopedic. I just wanted to be cooler. When you have a disability, people want you to uh, be fine with the bare minimum. And I don't think that's cool. I own over a hundred. Hold on, what if I have big tits? Walla, that's an Insta W. Let me tell you why. Flashy. If you have tits, like big ones, right? And you're like a seven out of 10 female, right? In our generation, if you go live in the RuneScape section, making the camera 40% of the screen, you'll probably make as much, wor uh, as much money as a construction worker because of the simps. They love to see the dragon plate body. Yeah. They love it. That's an insta win. You'll be able to get big in no time. I mean, look, look at all these females that go in the hot tub section or the just chatting section and they, or, they literally chest before they go live. Like, bro, that's not normal. You know what they're doing. People just stream just to push people to their own fans. Like, that's what Stella is doing now. <laughs> Stella, Stella puts random gifts of her on her stream and she's like, want to see why Trident risked it all? Click this link. And now her n**ks are like everywhere. Oda, have you seen her nudes? How do you know? Of course I didn't. That's so f weird. Why would I? I'm joking. I obviously didn't. I'm serious. Oda, how do you know they uh, oil up their chests? What do you mean? You guys link me random shit all the time. Like, I could open up. Oh, no. We're doing this segment again. I can open up kick.com slash Odablock. I can open kick up right kick.com slash Odablock. Okay. No. War. Where is it? Um, ASMR. That's let's see. A new one. Now let's see what happens. Doing good? I'm gonna click on the first stream that I see. Look, this is the first stream in the ASMR section. She just burped. Thank you, thank you. What is that? Like, did you guys just see what she just did? What? Like, bro, you can't, you can't tell me. Like, come on, bro, come on. Like, come, come on, bro. Come, like, like, what is that? What is that? Like, really? Like, I'll be right back. I can't do this anymore. Give me a second. I can't. I'm going to go to the bathroom. I'll be right back. Just give me a second. Just give me a second. I'll be right back. Ah, this is getting out of hand. This is getting out of hand. <laughs> this is getting out of hand, bro. Like, really? This is, this is getting out of hand. Seriously. Stop the law, Dean, bro. This is really just getting out of hand. That was a hard wank, but I did it. Get back to the guy with the stanky leg, big O. Okay, I see a lot of yeses. Chat, is it normal after... Don't lie, for the people that got crowns. Is it normal after two weeks, two weeks plus since I did my crown? I still can't put pressure on it. Is that normal? I still, I still eat only on my left side. My permanent crown is on Monday. Because they had to make, like, make some time to make it or something. <laughs> this guy said... Bros, please stop going to the Arab doctors. It was the same place where I got the hair transplant. God damn it, I can't believe it admitted that. I, they, listen, they give me 80% off because I'm self pay What can I say, Trailblazer? I'm joking, I'm lying. But still. <laughs> 100 pairs of shoes. The process of getting- He has 100 pairs of shoes? Cooler. When you have a disability, people want you to uh, be fine with the bare minimum. And I don't think that's cool. I own over 100 pairs of shoes. The process of getting the orthopedic boot on these shoes is, oh my God, it's crazy. The quickest I ever got a shoe bag was probably in three weeks, but generally it takes about, nowadays, three to six months for probably one shoe. I'm always giving my orthopedic probably over 10 pairs of shoes, so I can understand why it takes such a long process. It costs $165 per boot to put the shoe on. I what? $165 to put a boot on every shoe? No, no, that's a scam, bro. And he said he has over a hundred pairs. My orthopedic probably over ten pairs of shoes, so I can understand why it takes such a long process. So he buys the shoe, then puts a boot on the shoe for $165 each. Nah, bro, that's crazy. Well, that's crazy. Process. It costs $165 per boot to put the shoe on. I wish I could say an expensive hobby. But it's more like an expensive hobby in... I'm not gonna lie. Take that ornament kit off. Like, Walla, straight up. Like, they, they scamming his midget ass. Like, that's crazy. Like, I'm... 
Like that's no. No. Medical <laughs> you go. The way I looked at it when I walk outside, you know, people gonna stare at my shoes or my legs regardless. So I always figured Med will have like the coolest sneaker on. I think it's actually cool because I never seen nobody do this before and the kids love him. Like when we go out, they be like, oh my God, you're the guy with the shoe. You're the guy with the shoe. Like every time we go out, they just love him. And our son, he looks at him as a superhero. It's Flamingo Man. <laughs> <laughs> Overall on social media, I have well over a million followers, probably over a billion views. On oh shit, he bigger than me, chat. I'm gonna just be honest and say it right off the bat. This man is, he may not be bigger than us in height, <laughs> but he definitely bigger than us in terms of social media. Yeah, a million followers, I never hit that. On TikTok, in the very first video I threw up, did two million views. And ever since then, we just kept posting and posting and then eventually it came to me sharing my fiance into our videos. The first video that we did was like it's in our dining room. It was like acting like we was in a museum. He's trying to come up to me, trying to, you know, holler at me or whatever. And I'm like, I don't date short guys. And then he stands on his hall legs like, what about now? It shows that just because you got a disability, you can still have a family, a nice, beautiful girl, and all this other stuff. Oh, you're so cute. Because, you know. Oh shit, he just patted his head. Good boy. People hate. People do not like relationships. They were like, how he get a girl with a little leg? And I'm like this, what am I doing wrong? <laughs> He's like, you're not doing anything. Yo, I know there has to be at least one guy in the chat that's lower, like, like shorter than five foot. It's okay, bro. Listen, you can still find love. Trust me. You could still find love, bro. It's okay out there. Okay, you can still find love. Is it going to be like drop table love? Yes. It's going to be like 1 in 50. Not even. It's probably like a pet drop, I'm going to be honest. But you can still find it. You're wrong. You just ju nah, I'm rucked though. Judging people instead of, you know, taking the time out to actually get to know them. Keep being negative in our comments. It helps the algorithm. It is. I guess we just got to wait and see what the people are going to say. Yep. Yep. <laughs> Hopefully they like it. Yep, they're gonna troll us in the comments. I oh, know they are. <laughs> well, one thing my parents always taught me was never judge a book by its cover. You never know what somebody's going through or any of that. When I met you, it showed me that there is hope. There is somebody out here that could love you for you and just not unconditionally from your parents. And I think I needed to see that. And that's what showed me and gave me motivation to be a better person. Love don't judge. Why are you guys always judging other people's love, bro? Learn how to like be kind and and like be nice to one another, bro. Gosh, look, I'm sitting here. I'm one of the tallest guys in the chat. And I'm telling you guys that. I told you, we're gonna hang out, we're gonna watch a movie, we're gonna take some pictures, and then I'll pay you.